This is Rebecca. She's visually impaired and navigating her first CES. She's the creator of an app to help other low vision people navigate the world better. I have a rare disease called albinism, which basically means that my body doesn't create enough pigment or melanin, which is why my hair, skin and eyes are the color that they are. In addition to that, it, it affects the development and the maintenance of proper vision. As a result of that, I have really an uncorrectable impairment where no amount of glasses or LASIK or really any current treatments can aid the problems that I have. And what I found growing up and you know, as a student is that there really was no assistive technology that was appropriate for someone like me who had a vision impairment that, that couldn't be corrected. But I'm not blind. I'm still actually even able to have a driver's license. Um, but I still, despite that, have trouble sometimes doing you know, normal everyday tasks like reading the posters here at CES. The app makes it easier for people with low vision to see things around them. It uses customizable smartphone camera filters that users can change to suit their own unique visual impairment. Because I have an impairment, it's really easy to fall into the trap of saying, well, I know what's best for these people. I know what they need or what they want. Our Reboca app spent about a year in beta with about 100 beta users where our sole goal was to solicit feedback from people with vision impairment, um, optometrists, ophthalmologists. And over the course of that year, we added or adjusted, you know, more than 10 different features. How might the app be useful for looking at something like this? Yeah, so I can totally show you. So this is actually really hard for me to differentiate, especially because there's so much going on right here. Mm. There's just a lot of images. So what we can do is actually point it up and with one finger, so it's meant to be one-handed. Okay. So with just one finger, I can kind of zoom up and in. So let's pick one to look at, maybe this picture of a, a, a computer and whatnot. What we can do is we can actually add some contrast oh, wow. to make things a little bit brighter, um, the lights a little bit lighter. We can also add actually color filters. So this particular screen has a lot of green on it. So there's a whole lot that we can kind of do to, see now everything's kind of green. Mm. Um, but to kind of make certain colors um, or certain features pop out a little bit. You know, now I'm kind of understanding what this company does, whereas before it was just a whole lot of chaotic kind of images. In a way, it's quite a simple process, but I can imagine it's quite liberating just being able to instantly be able to point your phone at something and, and, and see something differently. Absolutely. For a lot of people, it's the difference between being able to read a menu at, you know, Starbucks or McDonald's when it's up in the back and needing to ask somebody else for help. It's, and you know, if you're by yourself, sometimes that's totally an independence issue. Mm. The app is currently available for iPhone and iPad, but Rebecca also has plans to make Reboke a community for visually impaired people. There's about 25 million people in the United States alone with some type of moderate uncorrectable vision impairment. And we're super excited to be able to also showcase and you know, bring awareness to that population to give those people a space to come and gather and say, we have our own very unique set of life experiences and needs and challenges and wants, and to give them an opportunity to come together with people more similar to them to talk about those things is really what, what we ultimately want Roboca to grow into.